What is going on, y'all? Travis here, back with another episode of Veronica Mars, Season 1, Episode 18. Let's get into it, shall we? Murderer. Duncan, a murderer. Any chance I'm ever gonna get to see the inside of your apartment? And what exactly are you hoping to see? Our good china? The screening room? Wanted to get a really good long look at your bedroom ceiling. Wow, ah! college girls must be easy. This is my A material. They swoon. My dad's home, I saw his car outside. But he's cool with us, right? Has he made a couple of remarks about the 29 month age difference? On the other hand, he likes the fact that you carry a gun. Not so much that he's okay to sleep over, but yeah, he likes you. I'll call you tomorrow. Later, deputy. Later. Cuties. The pretend to be digging in the fridge rather than spying on your daughter ploy? Bravo. Veronica, we need to talk. Now come up with the dowry to marry me. Just you wait. But seriously, folks, sit down. I know how uncomfortable you are with the idea of me dating, but your mom's been gone for over a year now. You met someone? I have. I didn't want to say anything until I was sure I had feelings for this person. Alicia and I talked about it. And what? Who? Alicia? Wallace's mom? Or what? From your reaction, I'd say you heard me just fine. Wallace's mom? I'm dead. On the bright side, if our parents get hitched, we could have bunk beds and stay up all night talking. I've always <laughs> wanted a little brother I could dress up like a little doll. Yeah? See how that works out for you. Hillamall.net. Dear Seventeen Magazine, how can I tell if the super cute boy in my class likes me? Dear Seventeen, how can I tell if the super cute boy in my class killed his own sister? Come on, buckaroos, we're burning daylight here. We're still short on articles. Let's do something fun. How about something on Oxycontin replacing ecstasy as the drug of choice for high school students? Parents don't want to read about drugs, go where they send their precious little one. I thought the newspaper the was for the students. fuck do I know her from? Where's your pirate pride? Lots of good stuff happens here. Did you know that Madame Rousseau has been teaching French here for 40 years now? A loving tribute to a sadistic crone. Oh, what is with these fire drills? This is the third one this week. Is it Darla okay, from Buffy? Okay, pirate, single file. Heads up, chest out, big smile. Ready? Okay. You know what? There's a good story for you. The fire drills? Someone alert the Pulitzer Committee. You'll find a way to make it interesting. I believe in you. Not exactly Miss Dent, is she? Not even close. Lots of stories about bake sales and blue ribbons. Why did Miss Dent let herself get knocked up? <laughs> So what's the skinny on the fire drills, Mr. C? Faulty hot plate in the faculty lounge? Gremlin gumming up the works? Simply following the district-wide policy for mid-semester fire drills, we let ourselves get a bit behind. Really? It was like one or two a year. There have been three this week alone. I'm sorry, there's not a more entertaining explanation. It's just district policy. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some paperwork to catch up on. How's the story coming? Blowing the lid off the fire safety policy. Do you know how I can find out what the official district mandate is? Have you spoken to Miss Rauch? She's definitely your source. Uh, I maybe it's not, though. I don't know. I know her from Here. something, Ready? though. Push. Alan Rauch. This is Veronica Mars. I'm doing an article for The Navigator. How can I help? How many fire drills does the district mandate each semester? Just one is our policy. <laughs> Something wrong, Corny? Yeah, I came to get something out of my locker, but I can't remember what it was. Yeah. Hey, I was thinking about busting out of here. Go to White Castle. Wanna come with? <laughs> There's no White Castle in Neptune. <laughs> it's kind of an expression. What's wrong? Crap. Oh. Maybe they're not looking for drugs. Excuse me, Mr. Clements. That's Ellen Rausch from the district office. Hello. I received a call from a very pushy student of yours. Yes, I know the girl that you're talking about. She should never have called you. She has quite a fresh attitude. Mr. Clements, she gave me the impression that you've been exceeding your fire drill limits. No, uh, I've been trying to keep this under my hat, but we have had a series of bomb threats. I brought in the bomb squad. Well, that's very disturbing news, Mr. Clements. Let us know if there's anything we can do. She is smart. Oh my god. <laughs> You're positive First of all, about this. Mr. Maybe Clemens confirmed it. It's accurate. The student should be at school. This is exactly what newspapers are supposed if it's to do. Repeated. They involve like the here. police. Why don't the parents know? There is a lot wrong in this situation. You going home. I'd rather not be here when the school closes. You won't believe how insane the administration office is. Parents go off on Clemens. Hell yeah! He does? They should. I'm beginning to think he has a crush on me. The Neptune Navigator is not the Washington Post. Was the story inaccurate? Our duty to protect the student body trumps your non-existent right to a free student press. 
Isn't a newspaper supposed to be... And what exactly is your journalism background? I was on my high school yearbook staff. Then what do you say we can stick to pictures of smiling kids? And That's opera? censorship. And Veronica, who was this highly placed source in the administration that confirmed your story? That would be you. I most certainly was not. Mr. Clemens, the fresh girl gave me the impression you had been exceeding your fire drill limits. <laughs> this is a disciplinary meeting. You should feel lucky that you're not suspended. For what? Maybe you'd be doing me a favor. And Miss Stafford, that. you need to use better judgment in the future. No more stories on this subject. I wouldn't Could be going be. back. I may have made a mistake allowing a pep squad advisor to substitute for a journalism teacher. Who would like to compare the character of the three Karamazov brothers? Ben? I didn't read it. Thought maybe I'd wait for the miniseries. It doesn't matter. In the end, we all wind up in the same place. Six feet under. JTT? It's an accident. We're all sorry about it. What's happening? We're still watching a movie. He has his arm around her. Uh, he's not like, groping her or anything, is he? No, but earlier I saw him cutting a hole in the bottom of his popcorn bucket. That's not funny. Pretty funny. Yeah, well, my dad's not a groper. You think they're serious? What does your dad say? That's the good thing. It won't last long. It can't. What does that mean? My mom's in rehab. When she gets cleaned up, she's coming home. And where does my mom fit into that plan? I guess she's just a placeholder then? Somebody to keep your dad from being lonely until the woman who dumped him decides she's ready to come back? This is my family. Two minutes ago, you didn't want them dating either. I probably wish mom would have found a guy who wasn't my best friend's dad. Mom hasn't found a decent guy since dad don't. If she's just gonna get burned, I need to tell her right now. You can't. Why not? Do me a favor and just wait a few weeks. I gotta say, Veronica, I'm getting a little tired of doing you favors. If you always said what happened, one of us happened to us all. Hey, we need to get going. Honey, we're still watching the movie. It's getting kind of late. <clears throat> Did you and Veronica have a fight? No. I know this is uncomfortable for you, but I'm counting on you to be mature about this. I am. I'm just looking out for you. Well, you don't have to, because I'm a big girl. There's something you need to know. Just listen. I don't want to hear it. Well, you need to hear no, it. No, I don't. What I need is for you to see how happy I am. This is the first time that I actually feel at home in this town. Keith is a very good man, and that is all I need to know right now. Let me have this, please. How can you even have an opinion on you, Who's to say that you? he's even going to want it. her mom back? Live in the dark ages. I know what I like, and I like what I know. Hey, that iPod mini is something else, isn't it? Hi, Veronica. I'm sorry to interrupt. Mac, would you mind taking a look at my computer? I can't get it to boot up. Could I take it with me, though? Like, yeah. Everything important is password protected. Like, I really care who you have a crush on. <laughs> Veronica, can I talk to you about something? Yeah, sure. I have some information for you, confidential information. It's about your story. Yeah? Well, it got me thinking the other day, and I passed by this vacant lot, and I saw Norris and that new kid, Ben. They were throwing tennis balls at stray cats. Uncool. I don't get it. The tennis balls were exploding. So, grenades. Last night, you said something. Am I really your best friend? Who else you seeing running? Quit smiling at me. Hey, what do you think of this new kid, Ben? Heard anything? Unbelievable. Makes you say that. Because you want me to go get his file, don't you? Forever a snack. So predictable. Doesn't he look like total bomb threat material? I check out his friend. Clemens made him turn his shirt inside out. Why? What'd it say? Kill them all. Let God sort them out. Raise your hand if you loved JTT growing up. 46 hours, 15 minutes, till what? So we've had two of the brothers on here from Home Improvement. Where's the third one? Hey, you mind if we... Yeah. Carlita, Biff, Rocco, make some room. <laughs> Imaginary friends. So the whole school is talking about your article. You think the threats are real? Let's hope not. Ice cold fries, anyone? No, thanks. Are you working on any interesting cases with your father? Well, that Maltese Falcon is still eluding us. I'm not allowed to talk about the cases, a confidentiality thing. Of course. <laughs> you know, there is one case that's sort of interesting. I'll leave out the names. Successful entertainment attorney, divorced his wife, literally erased himself off the face of the earth. How do you go about doing that? You get your hands on all the cash you can. Using cash is key. Get your cell phone for a prepaid jobber. Cross over the border if possible. Do you buy an old passport? Do an extreme makeover on it. Excuse me. The shop talk buzzkill. It's not you. He's been acting weird all day. I'll catch you later. Off his meds. Is it possible these two are just waiting for the moment they can blow the school sky high? Norris earned his reputation as a thug and bully back in junior high. Ow. But I have seen another side. 
<laughs> Ew. Yeah, do something else. Ooh, he had a crush. Or he was just doing the right thing. Let's check in, see where his headspace is these days. Hi, I'm doing pull for the Neptune Navigator. How vital. What's the question? World War III starts tomorrow. You can share your bomb shelter with three other people. Who would they be? I actually think I'd be a casualty of war. Bruce Lee, Joe Strummer, Sam Kinison. They're all dead. OK, other. You could have sat with me. I thought you were making a point. The only name I recognized I was Bruce Lee. There's no school file on Ben. Strange. He doesn't even go here. Maybe he's too new. I got you Norris's file. You're saintly. I get the top bunk. <laughs> Suspended for violent behavior a bunch in middle school, but that's what I thought. Nothing since high school. Maybe he's trying to keep his record clean. Wallace, thanks for what it's worth. You're my best friend, too. And I'm glad you found your mom and got her some help. I should have told you that sooner. I should have told you that sooner. That was either a really poor warm welcome or an excellent cold shoulder. Logan told me you've been carrying on your own investigation of Lily's murder. That you have file of everyone in your computer. Hey, I'm Logan, you fuck. That's true. Is there a file on me? There's a file on everyone who was connected with Lily. What does mine say? That you killed her? It says that you have type 4 epilepsy. Mood swings, violent outbursts, that you're taking medication. How do you know that? It doesn't matter. It does matter. If I wanted you or anyone else to know about that, I would have told them. Who the hell do you think you are? I am Lily's best friend. Killer is in jail. Abel Kuntz didn't kill Lily. He was paid to confess. <sighs> I mean, do you even hear yourself? Who would pay? Us. Of course. You think someone in my family paid him. Now, why would they do that? To protect me? Do you remember what happened that day? You think I killed Lily? I do. How did you think that, even for a second? Calm down. What? You think I'm gonna have another episode and kill you too? He the killer. He a killer. Keep hanging out with you. You're gonna keep doing it. Fine. 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 A girl I'm must prioritize wallowing in the camo. grief of betraying an ex-boyfriend or following the guy most likely to blow up Neptune High. Give me a stick of gum to chew and I'll do all three at once. The Camelot Motel, accommodations for adulterers and rent by the half-hour hookers. Now it appears to be the destination of choice for teen Kaczynski. <laughs> Manure. Ah. Oh my God. Damn. Yeah. Hey, it's Logan. Hey, uh, just a heads up for you. Duncan knows about your files. Yeah. Because you told him. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what was I supposed to do? He's my best friend. Well, he took my head off. You would have loved it. Have you talked to him since school let out? Oh my God. What do you think you're doing? Let's go for a ride. Make a left at the next stop. Where are we going? Oh, well, you should know. The Camelot? Yep. I'll save this, Veronica. You're screwing everything up. I really think you're making a mistake. JTT I don't know anything. Bad Why? Boy, I don't like I, it. I need to think for a minute. My dad's a private detective. There will be people looking for me, armed people. I want to show you something. Do you know anyone? My treat. A lot of people might die because of you. Oh, shit. <laughs> Logan, stop. Oh. He's a federal agent. What? You're undercover at Neptune High. Is it all right if he goes outside? Dream on Jump Street. I'm not leaving you alone with her. <laughs> Logan, he's the real thing. Just give us a minute, all right? Don't Good on you, Logan. Fuck yes, Logan. Yeah, I'll be right out here. Way to show up. I like you today. His haircut is disgusting. So why Neptune? Well, part of my job at the ATF is monitoring internet traffic. Norris kept a website that was troubling. Lots of red flag words. Retribution, gun show, fertilizer, Waco, Columbine. We think that he's the leader of scores of like-minded misfits. Is the signal the countdown clock? Fertilizer, not manure. If earlier. he's such a Same threat, thing, why right? haven't you brought him in yet? Oh, I will bust him. Be sure of that. I've got more arrests on my record than any ATF agent my age ever. Failure is not an option. Wow. If we pick him up now, we can hold him for 48 hours. Now, I either need evidence that he's hoarding banned weapons, or I need to get my hands on the list of the names of the people he's been corresponding with. Why are you telling me all this? I need your help. He's kind of a terrible actor. I need you to get close to him. I pushed him too hard. Now, I'm screwed if I don't get him off the streets by tomorrow. I've been to his house, but I haven't been in his bedroom or the garage. How do you expect me to swing an invitation to his bedroom? Easy. 
He likes you. He likes me? Likes me, likes me? Well, he's mentioned it on more than a few occasions. Your school needs your help. Why is it so long in the back? Needs your help. <laughs> if you need stop men, looking at it. he loves talking about his ancient weapon collection. Logan waited the whole time. You okay? What a good guy mm -hmm. today. She's cutting Wait a minute. What? Shut me up, I guess. Yes, yes. Cause we'll get I we'll get Mitch. I did not see that coming. <laughs> Thanks for doing this, Norris. My dad's really been struggling with this case. I bought some pictures of the stolen weapons if that helps. Parents are a little nosy. Probably more effective than the mind your own beeswax sign I have on my door. Though it does have a picture of an angry kitty on it. There's no way in hell my mom would have that shit cut off so, so fucking fast when I was a teenager. This is my weapon collection. You must feel really safe at night when the dragons come. Uh, here are the pictures. Do you uh, want to sit down? Kidding? I want to look at these weapons. They're so pointy. <laughs> this one's very Braveheart. <laughs> That's a replica of William Wallace's sword. I've seen that movie like 50 times. Anything you recognize? Yeah, the Tachi sword. I'll write down the price. Is that wireless? My dad's a programmer over at Kane Software, so we get all the latest technology. First households in the country to have Wi-Fi. I have what a, a replica of this. It's, uh, it was right over there. I think it fell. I'll look for it. If I were a pipe bomb, where would I be? I don't think he does. I think he's just a weapons nerd. Great. I'm his type. Don't even worry. I'll find it later. Maybe he keeps his arsenal in the garage. How do I get into the garage yeah. without playing dungeon with this whack job? You ever throw one? Can't say that I have. I got a target in the garage if you want to try it. That was easy. I think it. It happens. Detention? Me? I think not, Mr. Clemens. Try filling out that form left-handed. How come these are rubber? They're just for practice. Next time I'll let you try a real one. Am I crazy or is Bomb Boy flirting with me? The Japanese Bomb have the boy. coolest weapons. <laughs> Should I just put these in here? No, you could just hand them back to me. What was in there? My dad said that if I keep my grades up, I could tour Japan this summer. You know, there's a Kurosawa retrospective over at the Paragon this weekend. You think maybe you'd like to go? It's cool. It could just be like a friend's thing. Okay, came up empty on the weapon search, but there's one place I can check for his address book. If I can access the wireless system from out here, I'm gold. Wi-Fi sucks half the time inside. Excellent. Get it out there. Gee it. Hello? I need you to walk me through something. What did you ever do before you met me? Ever see the first 10 minutes of 2001 A Space Odyssey? It was a lot like that. Monkeys clubbing each other. No, I... I got it. If you were planning the apocalypse on a Friday, you ask someone out on a date for that weekend. That's the only way I'd ask someone out. Veronica. Earth to Mars. Dude, where'd you go? Norris, pick up, pick up, pick up. Okay, if you get this, call me before tomorrow. That's fucking creepy, man. Aren't the authorities involved? I got your message late. Something's up. Ben isn't who he says he is, and he thinks you're behind the bomb threats. Don't move! This is crazy. You have the wrong guy. It's a joke. A hoax. I have a warrant to search your vehicle. Fine. Search away. There you go. A hoax, huh? You planted that. It's not that. my stuff, man. He's right. lying. It's not my stuff. Yes, I, I didn't do You set him up? Step back. People, this is a crime scene. He's lying to you. That's messed up. Agent Ben used me. Ten to one, he planted the rifle and fertilizer while I was inside playing with throwing stars. All I need to do is prove it. Well, it's all right there. Grow time fertilizer. Pete Kamiski, please. Speaking. It's Veronica Mars. Got a minute? I guess, yeah. Tomorrow, we'll be publishing a story that says you created false internet traffic. It's accessible to you because you reside within 100 feet of the Clayton House. You created the killemall.net website with its countdown clock and called in the bomb threat in order to implicate Norris, even though there was never an actual bomb. You lied to this reporter about Norris and a young ATF agent killing stray cats. Are you crazy? You think this is something I just do for kicks? Yeah. You did it because you were the frequent victim of Norris's bullying you in junior high. Pete, still there? Did all every that day. over a fucking Excuse tarantula. Me? He took my lunch money That's every day. You should we never got on bully the bus. people. Well, you shouldn't bully people because it's not nice. But also, you don't know what they're gonna do. Don't be bullying. He said, "Be a man. Pop him in the mouth once, son, and he'll back off." So I did. Norris sent me to the hospital. You want to know what my dad said then? What? He said he wished he'd had a son. 
Veronica? Huh? Ah. Meg, what's wrong? You haven't seen Duncan tonight, have you? No, he never showed, which is weird. He's missing. His parents think he may have run away. What? Why would they think that? His mother says that yesterday he withdrew 10,000 in cash from the bank. No one's seen him since. Bizarre. Yeah. What would make him do that? I wonder. So the ATF agent set him up? The same fertilizer bags I saw the agent purchase were the ones found in Norris's car. And same with the rifle. Well, I guess we have no choice but to print it. I was thinking about that. Maybe I could take the story down to the city paper, see if they'll publish it. Maybe just put it on a website. What fun would that be? In case you were wondering, the Clemens, not Cleveland. Well, I'll sleep over it. Did you have to mention Norris's school record? Someone could put two and two together. They will have to really speak sharply to me before I reveal my sources. Listen up, everybody. That is so awkward. I just heard that Norris Clayton is being released later today. Charges have been dropped. It's to a certain high school newspaper's front page story. I'm sorry to report that today is my last day teaching at Neptune High. Fired? It's been a real kick working with all of you. I'd appreciate it if you could work independently. Your sub will arrive shortly. That sucks. Okay, buckaroos, we're burning daylight in here. We need stories. Who's got something? I don't get it. Am I missing something there? Oh, because she, like, printed the story that she actually wanted to print or something? That episode was good. I gotta go watch the next one because I need to know what's up with Duncan. I can't believe Logan and Veronica made out like that. I can't believe JTT showed up in this episode and he was a federal agent. I can't believe he had a terrible haircut. I can't believe how not good at acting he was in this episode. I love this show. Let me know what y'all thought about this one. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.